Hi. <laughs> um, so our Hutch Rebel insert, the blower, has stopped working and we have to pull out the insert to get to the blower or the motor or whatever mechanism it's in the back um, so that we can replace it and heat our house. Uh, we have 1965 Bedford Stone Ranch um, and it's the only real form of heat. We do not have a furnace. We have radiant heat that works, but it's not very cost efficient. So we have been using the fireplace. Um, it's a wood burning insert, um, probably about a month, maybe. Um, when we first bought the house, which was almost a year ago, it worked. Um, it made some noises, but it worked. So we weren't really gonna mess with it. Um, we moved in February. So we used it for about a month and or a month, month and a half, and and then spring came and we didn't really use it. Um, and now it's December, so we need heat. Um, like I said, the radiant heat works, but it's just our first bill was like $400, which we are in Kentucky, so that to me is a lot. Um, so we're pulling this insert out. Sorry for the long exp explanation. Um, and thanks for watching. I couldn't find any videos really of someone pulling it out um, of a fireplace. Um, I saw a couple, but it was either by a professional, which we are not, um, so warning. Um, and also they didn't have like the same version as us, so um, I just wanted to show you that. It's not a slam insert, uh, doesn't look like it, which is illegal or not up to par, not up to code. So um, it's connected to a vent, um, but it's like cocked or welded, and maybe not welded because we're able to pry it off a little bit. Um, so that's been a little challenging. Um, I haven't really done most of the work. I'm just a foreman for the most part. My dad would like me to say that. Anyways, um, my boyfriend's the one that works on most things. It's my idea. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sure a lot of watchers or listeners understand. Anyways, um, that's enough about that. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. So this is the motor. Um, we have to, I guess, replace it or take it to a machine shop. Lucky for us, there's a lot of machine shops around here. Um, we'll just replace it. Um, we'll probably have to do some flu work uh, because just to get it up to code. Um, anyway, there it is. And thanks for watching.